I will try to this to show the Olympia a bit another world. Uh, Carlos talked quite a lot uh, and nice uh, about about technical perspective, and uh, my personal topic and uh, favorite topic is how to make the better UX for IDMPR and uh, how to get benefit uh, for end users at all. Uh, so my topic is for today IDMPR UX and uh, UX changes what we did in the latest version uh, thanks to core team and others and also what is my and our vision regarding to data visualization and uh, better insight to data. So there are a lot of topics about database that this is for me also important. So uh, I will, to my idea to how to explain this is uh, talk about the UX opportunities which we have and uh, how we can make better the interactions between users. There are many aspects how we can do that. Uh, and uh, each of them has another benefit and another way how to realize it and another approach. Uh, then we have also, uh, I will also show some uh, highlighted features where I explain each aspect, why and how influence the user experience. Uh, I highlight maybe six or eight uh, uh, features and try to explain, show what is the benefit, how to use it, and why this is the big change for the, for the UX in the IDMP. Uh, and, and I will talk about uh, the dashboarding and data visualization, because this is uh, something uh, which is really missing on IDMP. Uh, and uh, then we, we will talk about uh, a lot of questions. OK, so my name is Nobre Bede. I'm a founder of the company, two companies. Uh, I'm from the European Union, from Slovakia. My uh, nation is Hungarian, but speaking uh, Slovak, English, and so. Uh, I'm uh, consulting 15 years, but. Uh, okay, can you help me? Test, okay. And almost uh, 10 years I'm part of the community and uh, trying to cooperate with community on a daily basis. Uh, we have a small team relatively, but uh, we are almost creative people, but also understanding to databases and uh, hazard cast and uh, proxy. And, uh, but uh, for me, it's like uh, tools to achieve the end, uh, end user experience and company benefits. Uh, we did, uh, we make account, the uh, Carlos say and summarize how many commits. So our surprise was we had uh, quite a lot of commits. So in the last year, we did approximately this number of the commits. Uh, so hope this helped to the community at all. Okay, so which areas? I, I don't want to talk about how, uh, what is the UX and uh, what is the user experience because there are a lot of definitions, uh, what does it mean, how this affects end users, how this affects uh, uh, the workflow, uh, how to do this uh, new ways, modern way. But I would like to focus on those aspects which is uh, which as, uh, as our um, benefits and our uh, impact. Uh, the statement I, I have is uh, make IDMPR practical, usable, fast, modern, and stable framework. Probably this I will start to the framework because uh, many times uh, Carlos state would be better. Uh, so the IDMPR direction not only to build ERP at all, but move forward to generic framework. Generic framework means okay. Any maybe some implementers make own modules, which is not part of ERP process. Or we have REST API. We can use and implement absolutely different areas like mobile phones or or pharmaceutical <coughs> processes and so. So this framework is important, and many of components must be changed, modernized, rethinking, rethink 
how we are using, how was implemented by your, your Janke at the beginning, and how we can make benefit, uh, how we can make better now, in, in this year. Uh, practical, yes, practical, what is practical? Okay, if I need to open the same uh, report from the menu six times in one minute, this is not practical for me. But I will show how we can do it new version better. Uh, usable and fast. Fast is also important because uh, we had uh, many times questions. Why we have very good statements on the SQL side? The item is still slow. And yes, is it also on the side client? And we did a lot of effort with Hexin and Carlos and our team. How item pair can be faster on, on the user side? Because what happening if our customer call us mid of day, okay, the system again is slow. And the server is running well. So we did something wrong way. And I mean, we have uh, breaking changes on that. I will talk in details. So, uh, which opportunities we have? Uh, we, we are using, uh, uh, there is a term, uh, design system. Design system means like uh, best practices in one package. Everybody heard about Bootstrap. Yeah? This is a design system. And, or many of others. But we are using a specific design system, which is good. Uh, the, this is the ZK. Uh, what is the difference between the front-end design systems like Bootstrap and ZK? ZK is implementing design over the Java. So, um, tightly, uh, so you don't need the uh, middlewares and uh, don't need REST APIs. And that also means we have the, the system where uh, all HTML pages are render it on the server side, not on the front end. Because if you have REST API, the front end <coughs> render the site and get data through REST API. So ZK was well implemented, but there are a huge lot of components. Uh, one part is open source, second part is enterprise, a licensed. But still we can implement new components which improve the user experience. So this is the one opportunity how we should make better the IDMPR user experience. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, this, uh, uh, this moving from ERP to the framework. I will show example uh, uh, which one, like for example, labeling, this is the one feature which was did by uh, by Align from, uh, from Brasilia, sponsored by our company. Uh, date picker. You can select date, both, but you can select range also. And uh, actually, we are working very hard uh, in a complex way on record ID editor. <coughs> At this moment, you have record ID, just you can click, but you can select records too. So this makes better identity on the area as framework, so later I believe we can have more successful CR implementation, for example, or PSA or professional services in, uh, automation. Bugs and performance improvements. Uh, did you heard about the DOM objects? DOM objects is the full website where the all objects is one tree. And if we don't destroy those objects, we have performance memory leak. And that is the situation when our system sold down. So this is the another part, how we can. This was uh, refactored in the last two, three months, in the latest version. Uh, usability problems. We need, okay, I hate the idea. I would like to click only once. I hate it, but sometimes it's really useful. And you need it. So uh, the time savers. So we need to somehow remove all uh, annoying uh, interactions. We don't need this, which is necessary, like a booking. If you want to repost the transaction, you need to click to the posting, open new tab, plus one tab. 
You need to go to repost. You need to close it. Is this necessary? In the first side, if you want just repost, you don't need it. But if you want to click inside, then you can still uh, drill into the posting uh, tab. So this is the annoying and uh, time saver. Regarding to data quality and controlling, um, also we need to uh, take uh, better quality of some uh, operations. For example, print format is a good example. We make the improvement. We recognize the users, they are using the print formats and changing them. Many times click on the copy. And after six months of implementation, there is a copy of copy, 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 copy. And we, the, I don't know this is the really real or not real. And now I need to ask as, as, as an implementer who understands the full system, the user, uh, is, is this serious report or not? Okay, this is um, probably slow down the system, but secondly, is make uh, opportunity to make mistake. So this is also related to how to make better interaction and UX control over. And this uh, this part, uh, the dashboard here is very important. How to make road centers and show controlling over the data. Uh, attractiveness. Uh, Yes, I did some uh, insight into the compacting softwares. Also, I don't want to <laughs> say which one, but how they are using, they are solving the same problem. They are processing data, labeling data, they are finding uh, quickly or searching the data or, or switch between views like read, list, Kanban and so on. So, okay, Diego implement the Kanban. But for example, uh, Carlos had idea why we haven't, uh, why we don't implement uh, uh, Kanban for each window, like generic Kanban. So you can switch from grid to list to Kanban. That is the part how we can take best practices components and approaches from other vendors. Uh, because IDPR was, uh, had more, uh, more uh, forks before, uh, then uh, how features was implemented. Uh, then many, many times uh, we did mistake. One part of the system was implemented, the second part not. So, so user asked me why I can do this in window but not in info window. If I generate invoice from the generate invoice ma manual, why I cannot predefine the organization? Because this is the form and should be better to make with standardized info window. So this standardization uh, gives the user the benefit. He will learn quickly which opportunities and which uh, standard uh, behaviors he can use in the system. But we need standardized them and we need to remove uh, inconsistency. Many of, many of them was... Oh. Uh, okay. Many of them was done. Okay. And uh, many of... Um, many of, many of them is, uh, we, need, we need to investigate and work on that. Okay, the last one is attractiveness. Everybody is happy to see the dashboard at the login. There are nice charts, KPIs, uh, indicators and uh, comparisons, yeah. But IDMPR has has dashboard one simple like like initial dashboard. But we have some ideas how to make it better, how to improve it. And uh, already in the version ten, we did a lot of improvements. How you can benefit actually in the latest version. And then I will talk about our uh, preview. Which, us, which are our uh, private developments. We are planning to share. Oh. Share and commit it to the community. Okay. Uh, so the features. Uh, I highlight some features. 
and uh, then I will try to uh, walk through. For example, reopen report. Uh, that is my favorite, especially because uh, you can imagine you show uh, you run the report or the data for one week, but you see the margins. But you would like to search for a specific business partner. What you are doing now, you are returned back to the menu. You start the report again. So what we are doing, we are opening the new tab. So you have plus one, plus one tab, so you have to run it. But you say, OK, it's not good because I would like to see only items with wrong or low margin. So you have parameter. Uh, range of margin, you need to again go back to the report, menu, open it or, or favorites, it uh, doesn't make sense. And uh, that is something is really annoying. I say, okay, this is a uh, time saver, less navigation and uh, annoying uh, approach. Uh, I will try to show you what I mean. So I need data I will show on the production system. Uh, so I will start now the order data. Okay. I will start it for the Uh, 
define the system set the range of the data. If I would like to <coughs> see the last month, two months, it's done. Sometimes I need current month, current week. The documentation describes uh, which options, options we have. And this can be enabled or disabled in the system. And uh, mainly the main idea why we implemented this because uh, the dashboarding and uh, the motivation was uh, from, a, from a metabase, similar to metabase a bit, but little. And uh, we also analyze other tools like SuperSurf and, um, and Amazon and so on. Any questions for this? Are you, so with like, that same deep picker is available inside the window as well on the advanced search? This is implemented in all, all parts of the system. So we info windows, find, <laughs> uh, find uh, uh, process, uh, and uh, almost each part. Okay. Can you, when you, in the window, when you go to save a search, can you save the relative search as well? Uh, like, for example, if I want the window to always open, like quarter to day or last five, seven days. Uh, I am not sure. I will ask. Uh, can you ask this to Carlos? 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 May I ask? Uh, do we implement the, the, the chart? Ask it about uh, the. Can you ask again? So, when you. So, the, the dates. There's an interface for how to choose dates. And for example, you can choose the last seven days. In a window, when you go to save a search, are you able to save the relative search? Like, no, not yet. Not yet. Okay. That's another ticket that is. Okay. Next, next. I, I know it's uh, true, but uh, on the window you can. We have a state. 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 We so this is the between and between I can just select the date, let's say create it, then uh, I set between and you have uh, here also this uh, thing a lot of work, really lot of work to get it work in all places. Info video support. Okay, let's continue. Uh, the drill feature, really. Uh, I think we had had before the feature, but uh, was very hidden and primitive, was not configurable. Uh, at this moment, what we are able, we have a new window, it's uh, the drill tool. And uh, what you can do, uh, I, I don't like to explain absolutely technically, but uh, for, the administrator that, for the administrator that means, if you want to drill through business partner, then you can create, for example, uh, business partner request in the last 90 days. You enter the table, report view, the process, key column, probably similar like scheduler, you set the default values and run it. Example, uh, if I click, to this, I have this report, I click here, I have the new item there, oops, there a system. And what you say is the new window, is absolutely generic window, but we have two tabs. One is, uh, it doesn't show it now any records, but the old feature samples only three or two tables. So on the table in the application dictionary, if you check showing the three room, then you will see the rules which are available. We have 1,200 tables maybe, so maybe you need most top 30. In the community version, we have defined the uh, most used to this category. So then it's uh, listed by here. So in this case, for example, I click over a uh, drill over uh, business partner and I am on the report uh, open items. Ah, it's the wrong example. <coughs> I am on the report. Uh, <coughs> So I'm on the report order detail. So I see what the order, uh, what the customer ordered. I click now this uh, drill assistant, and I will see all 
reports, it can be more, and I can run open items, for example. This can be run silently without parameters, and in this case, you can see, you can still choose the parameters. So if you start it, then you can get the new report. So what you did before, you went to the menu or the favorite, you open the new report, you enter all parameters including the key column, and now what you need, you need to set up three rules for most used columns, and you allow the user discover data. So this is exactly time saver. Uh, one more class here. Uh, we don't uh, plan originally, but this is also available on a window. So if you, you have the rule, you, you just select, for example, product, and you see, okay, I would like to see shipments for the la latest 60 days, for example. It's again not silent. It's silent report is more better for end user because you because <coughs> need to make parameterization. You just run it and you get from the window the new record. So I'm set. It, uh, for example, a real use case, the customer wants to analyze the storage levels, but he wants to know transactions. So he will see, okay, I have too much quantities from uh, glass or something, but I would like to see transactions. Then I would like to see the uh, print report by grouped by business partners or grouped by category. So there are a lot of space, really it's depends on implementer and uh, how, uh, which, which size of the quality and the comfort you want to ensure for your customer. Any questions for this? <coughs>
respect no <coughs> you can see this ethnic memory card <coughs> I can make a snapshot from this uh, instance of the virtual machine, JavaScript virtual machine Sometimes taking time to <laughs> it cost one hundred euro this connector. That is wrong UX and Apple, they are safe on the connectors, but a lot of problems with technology. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, waiting. I don't understand what happens. Okay, so uh, so as mentioned, the IDMPR had uh, very simple and maybe not good demo data. We tried to make demo, but uh, was not successful. But the most important change we did was uh, okay. We tried to thinking about how okay there was the chart that was the chart library, but the big change uh, was implemented by Hengsin 
I discovered he had a library billboard GS. And I sent chat him, hey, Hank Sim, can you include into the core? Okay. So he replaced the G3 chart to the billboard. The big difference is uh, the G3 chart generate images, which is not resizable, not interactive, but billboard GS is based on the day free G day day free charts, which is the one of most uh, advanced uh, uh, visualization library JavaScript visualization library in the world. Uh, that was replaced. So this example shows, uh, and I will show in interaction. So if you go over, that's very nice. It's interacting. It's uh, um, uh, effects, uh, Java, uh, JavaScript HTML effects there. Second was uh, how we can simply show one KPI. So KPI means, okay, we have like, okay, define the KPI, today sales orders, or volume of sales orders. So we see the sales orders here in this example is this amount, which is uh, compared to the previous period is a difference. So what we did, we use the status line. You know status line is the component which was implemented and you can define on the quick uh, in, uh, quick uh, info panel. Quick info, <laughs> quick info panel, successful uh, numbers like last order or uh, summarizations or you can uh, either make tables. Okay, I switch. So what you can do uh, on the dashboard content, you have now the new field like status line. You create the new dashboard content. You define your own status line. The status line supports custom HTML template. You can use you can use uh, uh, formatting options like uh, numbers. You can use uh, HTML, uh, CSS, and uh, many. I don't understand. Sorry for that, but. <coughs> Happens before. <coughs> this must be stable. Is this cable? Done. Does anybody have similar connector? Okay, so. The status line, I don't need to show it because it's the standard. Uh, the difference is only you can put it into the dashboard and uh, visualize the data. The performance is second question, so you need to somehow denormalize data or pre-calculate it because if, if you have a large, huge transactions, exactly that should be problem. This performance goes uh, was uh, unusable really because uh, there was only one big uh, ZK component what we did, we split it to the goal. So we extend the dashboard by a goal, com goal field. You can select the goal and you can uh, display m multiple goals. Uh, the benefit of goal, it's not a well known uh, solution, but it's also persistent uh, pre-calculated data, so it's fast. And uh, it's also drillable. Okay. I will show this uh, dashboard now. I will close all tabs. Okay, I will try another. I, maybe I lost internet, I'm not sure. I have an internet connection. I don't know.
Okay. Before we had a white initial page. Now there is a. It's. I will mix a bit uh, versions and uh, what is into the core and what is not and what we plan. Exactly. Uh, this one, first one, is the multi dashboard uh, selection. This is not into the core, but we plan into the next three months to the commit. And uh, this, uh, what does it mean? We have a new window dashboard. This includes dashboard contents and dashboard preferences. So we reuse what we have. And for example, when I am logging and I would like to see now some performance of the, of the company, I select the sales statistics. Yes, the performance is depends. Data are cached, then it's uh, better performance or pre-calculated also. So if you can see, uh, this is the original component was uh, moved to this billboard charge, yes. And uh, still you can click through, so drill into the data like before. So this is the huge benefit against uh, external BI because you can analyze the data immediately. Uh, what we did, the Hank said is migrate this one, there was some performance issues, this was fixed, and we tried to improve the syntax and performance. If you click here, we can read the SQL. <coughs> Why this is important? Because if you want to uh, make uh, explain analyze over, just copy this SQL, run into the uh, your database client, and you can see, oh, I have an index. Because the consultant need feedback why his uh, query is slow. The second part is uh, uh, chart model. It's, it's, uh, it's a simple JSON. So if I take this uh, JSON now, It was better when I sit. Okay. So I have a JSON here. I cleared this JSON. I put new one, which, which I copied here. Put process copy. And now I will open this uh, this uh, stack bridge, and I just simple pass here the billboard definition, and you see you can analyze work and try to better visualization. It's so if I change, for example, show this X, then I set true. So you can change anything you want, but later you need to implement into the Java, exactly. But this is like controlling and helper how to implement into the system. Okay. Uh, this uh, one is a uh, goal. I know this because it's uh, the mouse, so you can click into, and you see, click to the month. Still, you can drill inside. There was uh, this is a, this a goal was refactored quite. It's not yet in the co in, in the community, but uh, we can do that and uh, improve. Okay, the second level. So I will. So, so the generally what I showed on the presentation, there was some improvements, which uh, will be on my presentation. Uh, the one important I forget is the the layout. Because until now, the item pair supports only columnar uh, dashboard, but now you can see, and this is typical for KPI, KPI uh, dashboard, you need per line. So we have now supporting rows. And also we are supporting uh, grouping of the columns, so you can have uh, uh, wider and uh, standard, uh, standard uh, containers. Okay, and uh, 
here an example for the next level. The next level, which is again it not in the community. So until now I show it's into the community, but I will show the next level we would like to achieve. It's uh, like um, parameters on the dashboard. So if I select the customer ask us, you can see now the customer I, it's, it's empty because I am not source rep in this company. But if I select this parameter and run apply filter, that's return me for this source rep, the data. So practically not same as metabase, but, but uh, you can achieve the same effect. So my vision is to avoid to use uh, for basic BI operations. We talked about, uh, about this topic with Anton uh, together. Basic, like mini BI or basic KPIing and uh, measuring and visualization of the data must be into the system. Otherwise, you need complex technologies, synchronization, aggregation, ATL, nice topics. Okay? I don't like them. I would like to get it and be give benefit to customer to show and drill into the data. Is it clear? Yes, this <coughs> parameter. The, the, the change is uh, there is a chart object, uh, the implementation. We have there the, the parameter. We have column. We copy a bit the application dictionary. And we, you have also on the dashboard uh, the parameters. You can link them. And then we can say, OK, if this is, you can see here, filter, applied, not applied filters. So you can have a dashboard. When you have, uh, you are, we are not applying. We are applying here only source rep, but we are not applying here business partner and organization. So we have defined mo more uh, parameters, but not applied. Here we are applying source person, but this is this year. So we are applying source rep and date parameter. Uh, this small icon shows. Uh, it's refreshed automatically. And uh, what is important here, hangs in refact, um, we chat a lot together about. So the system is quite prepared on those new changes. The system already asynchronous rendering the each uh, dashboard content. That means, uh, until now, if you log into the system and you have a very ugly uh, goal small s four uh, item goal uh, uh, dashboard content. Sometimes it took 30 seconds to log in. Yeah. So everybody what did? Deactivated this component. Now, because uh, this rendering is asynchronous, uh, then it makes benefit because uh, I, I cannot explain well uh, technically. But uh, the implementation was refactored on the level of the threading. So uh, until now, one thread uh, do the same job, but uh, from now, multiple threads doing. So it's more optimized, and it, this was ref refactored. If any question, then, then Carlos can explain this, I believe. But the effect is that you log in immediately, and you can work. Yeah. <coughs> OK, uh, I will show here the. Uh, let me check. <coughs> yeah, I'm trying to find the, the 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 date picker because also possible to use date picker here. But I cannot find this uh, this uh, dashboard now. I'm not sure which one. This one or not? Oh, it's no parameter here. But uh, uh, doesn't make sense. So at this at this at this moment, the idea behind is to make multiple type of uh, dashboards like road center. You can predefine the dashboard to the role, and when you log in, and you are accountant, you're getting controlling tools and insight into the data. 
if you are warehouse stockkeeper, then also you can have your own. Then we can split, okay, we can make operational dashboards, strategical and management dashboards. But this is like BI topic more. So that is almost what I want to say. Maybe I, I, I forget something, but, but we need somehow get young people into this community. It is very important. And uh, my vision is the new approaches uh, on the front end UX and uh, that data handling like REST also is important. Uh, help uh, in this fact and uh, grooving on the community. Yes? One, thank you. It's incredible. Okay. When, you, when you look at selling, I did here, I did here basically it's not, ERP is not attractive because it's basically fields, it's a sea of windows and tabs and fields. But if you ever build a website, and you, you basically want to pitch. At the end of the day, visualization is a really important point of data. So those contributions are amazing. So thank you. <coughs> Just one more idea. This is the Kanban. How we achieve that? It is, I, I don't want all details, but this is IDMPR REST API, which is very good new feature was developed by Trek Global, then BX, uh, Ka, um, Chuck and Murillo also did some uh, sponsorship, uh, me too. Uh, and uh, if we want to give to customer, like specify, like this is, the this is the real data somewhere in Slovakia at one customer, and this is the Kanban for transport, like Bratislava, Košice means city. So this is also UX, this is like, this is Ionic, this is the uh, design system. We are using Angular. You can use also Vue, uh, React, anything. And young people understand this. So if we need to help, you can ask designer company, agency to make nice UI. And we can extend this uh, UX user experience, not inside uh, ZK only, but also by REST API outside. When yes. you deliver it to the community, are you going to have like some yeah. default dashboards for each of the business units? Like one for procurement, let, one, let for, me, let me. one for CRM, one for... Yeah. Like you had the long list. Yeah. Are, do you have some basic ones that are going to be delivered with, uh, uh, with, yeah. the, with the dashboarding ability? We had a call with Deepak uh, two weeks ago maybe, and uh, he asked the same. Uh, yes, how we are implement those features like parameters, multi-dashboarding, uh, chart options. We also try to fulfill customer requirements. So we did some like uh, must-have dashboards. Yeah, perfect. Uh, but uh, we haven't all. And the big problem here is to have the good BI consultant to make the best, cap to get the best, uh, most used KPAs, measurable dimensions, and so on. So I am consultant, but I am understanding how to especially make standard workflow, standard processes, uh, but uh, I am not an uh, expert on the, on the BI. So I look at for companies who can help us do the best of dashboards, but most of the problem is most of companies want to sell you own BI to like Metabase or uh, Microsoft uh, Power BI or uh, Superset or other tools. Nobody like the job. Please help me with our data. We have 1,000 euros. We need to find the right model. We need to denormalize data. We need to find uh, which role is in the system and so on. So it's not easy task. So if we will have implemented those uh, uh, dashboards and features, I show it and not into the community yet. Still we need, we have, we have a lot of work and uh, here we can do ourselves, each of us, but would be better to collect and join together. Let's say Steven has experience with the uh, accounting data. So he says, okay, uh, we need to show on the road center accountant this, this, this information. Then I will ask Carlos, okay, do we have idea how to uh, pre-calculate those data, like make Cubes, we have cubes practically, but we are not used. 
maybe if you see the connection between, we can implement it and you take benefit of <coughs> your pay. And uh, when you are talking about reporting, uh, what kind of software that you are using reporting, developing the reports? Uh, what are this one? <coughs> no, all the Every reports that, uh, any reports that? Internal. Uh, Jasper reports? No, we are using, uh, I don't like Jasper report. It's too complicated okay. for me. Uh, translations problems, this was fixed maybe uh, in two years ago. So you can use uh, elements to translation. But uh, the my vision is don't use unnecessary tools. Maybe somebody like Jasper and it's really powerful, but it is too technical. So for good developer is uh, wasting time and uh, you need good consultant or someone who can make and understand the data model. So a bit confused because uh, you cannot do yourself. Okay. What, what, uh, what you see, it is internal report, but uh, uh, this was a bit modified because I uh, started a discussion with uh, Hank Sin. Uh, the internal renderer is very simple and we are using a data table JavaScript library which uh, all of you, for example, find on the client side. So if you render the report, uh, then you can write on the search field and the data already not find it in the browser, uh, not, uh, not in the backend, but uh, find it in the render table. And there is a pagination, a lot of nice things. <coughs> I'm not talking specific to this. I think Carlos also mentioned few reports in his presentation. That's why I'm asking if we are using any separate tool for no. that. Just for our internal tools. And here is, we are here because we want to make this software, improve it. I have, from my life, 10 years with Carlos in the, in, in the community, so we are working hard. Okay. We are, did a lot of contributions, but exactly what we need, customers and sponsorship on it. Because, okay, we are a small <coughs> company, we have big ideas, it's uh, nice, yeah. but it is not enough. So if, uh, if you believe or uh, you have customer who wants this, then okay, we can make a deal. Uh, we, we, we say, okay, I need this feature. I have customer, this can sponsorship. We need sponsorship for our work, but also for core, for community. Because we have good ideas. We implement prototypes. Probably this was production preview, let's say. But to get it into the core, it is huge work. Maybe to get multi dashboarding to the community will take one, two months. Yeah. Because performance, multi-threading, and so so. But then, nobody want to use. Uh, you no need to use uh, external tool for basic reporting. Yeah. Now, one one more question. I'm not talking about the reporting now. Uh, when we are talking about the sponsorship and the taking to the next level of item fair in the market, right? So, are we parallelly working to make the because implementation may become a, a challenge going forward in future when it keeps growing because it doesn't take. As soon as the <coughs> features get added by the community, the, there might be more customers that demand may raise in the item fair. But the challenge that we can see that implementers, of the supporters for the item fair is going to increase in the same way. Because the reason I am asking this question is, we are seeing the same set of challenge for the PostgreSQL as well. See, PostgreSQL has also grown in the last 10 years, it is dramatically. But the challenge it is seen, there are no support, support providers and those no proper implementers are coming into the picture. There are no skills. So I think it makes sense that we can see to in parallel to increase the implementation and the support partner with the IWP. So that when we it is customers are increasing, then this implementers can take that implementation so that this community can grow at larger speed. Yeah, but it's always there. There are some implementers here and uh, people can help with support of IDP here. Uh, depends on the level. If you have a the project uh, committee and you have a customer who focusing on the huge transactions, then don't you need probably to uh, implement very well UX, for example. But if you want UX and business processes specific area. We have automa automated warehouse, one customer. We are moving uh, pallets, uh, 3,000 pallets uh, daily, for example. So if you want this, I can help you. Yeah. But I can help. I cannot help with the accounting. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Or dashboard, we can. Or front end projects. 
Okay, thanks. Any question? Thank you, Robert, for the presentation. Um, especially for the UX, uh, it's uh, very important in the EFT because it's uh, users of telephone systems that has to be used in the to consider the ERP. And related to the user centric, uh, maybe we find the, 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 Arabian, the old Arabian uh, Diamond uh, Conference, and I think it's a very big potential for uh, IoT in the Arabian countries. And one of the maybe an um, uh, entry barrier for IoT in the implementation of the Arabian countries is the Arab support. Yeah. And one of the Arabic support features is its uh, right to live. So it's not just uh, translation, but it's also uh, right to live all related issues. And I hope when we uh, develop an, any new component for the UX, it support the uh, right to live to, to let us, the Arabian contribution, uh, to re not reinvent the re to support the right to left components that were already contributed in the Arabian uh, field. This is my uh, hope. Yeah, but uh, I have a small experience with uh, this Arabic uh, yes, sure. right to left. Mm -hmm. Because if, uh, if simple, you go to the ZK uh, CSS mm -hmm. and you set ZK right to left, then it's switched. Mm -hmm. But maybe not all components are properly implemented. Yeah. And but it, it, it's this is uh, uh, investigation. Yeah, it's not simple like that. Right? And mm -hmm. not, not just uh, change the parameters. Because uh, this is why it's not simple, because most of UX components and UI components, when, when it uh, was developed, it doesn't take into consideration the user synthetic, the Arabian user state, or the right to live user yeah. behavior. Okay, so it's many issues when we, uh, we uh, try to implement the art to have the right to live in the framework. Okay, so I hope this may be, uh, even in a specific component like the clicker, don't just uh, depend on the Mercurian uh, 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 calendar, but also the entity. And at the same time, <coughs> present the updates. Like in, in Saudi Arabia, all uh, governmental uh, assistance okay, supported two dates in the Mercurian uh, um, uh, calendar and the uh, digital date calendar. Okay. In the date calendar and the conversion of the so if I select uh, the Bulgarian, it will convert it to the HP or the uh, converse. So all these related right to left out or and under umbrella of the localization. And it's a very important issue related to the units. This is not, this is important to you. If you have customers, you can find budget, then we can take a look and uh, we can help doing that. Yes, yes, of course. But, but um, just I, uh, I have an, uh, a solid uh, example for a customer or uh, solid implementation for, uh, for a project. But I uh, think that uh, uh, a generic consideration related to the UX and the sense, uh, user synthetic to that there is a good potential for identity in the uh, region countries. But the, the, maybe the main, and my colleagues maybe support me in this, okay, the main in the barrier, uh, entry barrier for making it, it's not supporting uh, Arabic and regular. Okay, then we can go later, yeah. private, and uh, take a look, uh, make, we need to make a list of missing parts, yes. uh, okay. make a quick analysis, okay. uh, which uh, estimation is related to core, or it's uh, Z, probably it's uh, ZK is uh, not uh, USA, <coughs> that open but uh, from uh, East, I don't know, Vietnam or Taiwan, mm -hmm. ZK. ZK is coming to Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So probably they have solved this because they are operating in this area. So yeah. if the ZK is supported, but in the core is not the flag there, then it is easy. If ZK doesn't support it, then that is problem. Yeah. So depend each case by case. Right? Okay. Thanks.